Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're getting steamy in the kitchen making gazpacho. Summer soup made from fresh vegetables and just a splash of Clamato juice and it is the perfect lunch or starter for any meal. Now for our ingredients, it's just a short list. We've got two freshly sliced peppers, one cucumber that's been seeded and chopped, three cups of Clamato juice, some sea salt, an eighth of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, Tabasco, four tomatoes, and some fresh scallions. Now our first step is peeling our tomatoes. So we're going to be moving over to the stove and showing you a quick tip for getting the skins off. For our tomatoes, we're going to turn them over and score the bottom. So that means we're just going to flip them over and with the knife cut a shallow X into the flesh. Then moving over to the stove, we've got a large pot of boiling water and we're going to plunge the tomatoes in for one minute. Then moving over to our ice bath, we have a large bowl filled with ice and cold water. Plunge the tomatoes in and you'll watch the skins peel back easily. Now that our tomatoes have started to lose their skin after that ice bath, we are going to go ahead and peel the skin off and it comes off so nice and easily. So the last step with our tomatoes is taking out the core. Now the core is right here and all we need to do is just carefully take our knife and just slice right around it and then pull it out. You can choose to seed the tomatoes for our gazpacho, but I like to leave them in. I like that added bit of acidity. So now all we have to do is blend our gazpacho together and we're gonna be ready to enjoy it. So now it's time to start blending up our gazpacho. Now if you have a small food processor, you can use that. You could use a blender, an immersion blender, or a large food processor. Um, the important thing is just not to overfill. So we're gonna do our best here, I sometimes do. All right, so our tomatoes, our peppers, whoops, and our cucumber. We're gonna season it up with some salt. We're gonna season again afterwards, so not too much right now. We're gonna add in a good amount of Tabasco, maybe about 10 drops, give it a little spiciness to counteract that acidity. Then our acidity, we've got our red wine vinegar, and we're just gonna add half of our tomato juice here, our Clamato juice rather. And we are going to start chopping. We're going to add in our scallions now to give it a little bit of that oniony kick. Now we've got a few more peppers and cucumbers here so I'm going to brave it and add them in just to make sure we get the right texture. There we go. Put the top back on here and give it our last little puree. Perfect. So everything is all blended. Let's see. It smells so good. Now all we have to do is add it to our large serving bowl. We've got to stir in a few ingredients and then we're ready to enjoy our gazpacho. So now that most of our gazpacho is ready, we're going to add it to our large serving bowl here. Oh, it's got that nice kind of thick, slightly chunkiness that we do want because that texture makes it totally addictive. And now all we have to do is stir in the last of our ingredients. So we've got the rest of our Clamato juice here. And the very last two ingredients we have are our olive oil, which gives it a nice richness, which we're gonna add in here. Just keep stirring. And a last pinch of salt. And that just means that we've got it all seasoned up and we're bringing out all of those bright flavors in all of our vegetables. So our gazpacho is all done. We're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and now we're gonna let it sit in the fridge for one hour to let all the flavors meld and then we're ready to enjoy. So our gazpacho has been in the fridge for one hour and I am so excited to try it. It is my favorite, favorite summer soup. All right, so we're gonna grab a nice ladle full here. Looks so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, it just tastes so gardeny fresh. I don't even know if that's a term, but this soup is so refreshing, it's so light, and it's got a little bit of that richness from that olive oil that we added there at the end. 
Mm, definitely one of my favorites. Thanks so much for checking out The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes and recipes at thehotplate.com and all of our updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.